What's up everybody, Noah Olson here at Peak 360 Fitness in Miami, Florida with my new best friend, Taylor. Taylor, tell them what we're doing today. Today we're gonna to be doing different movements from a CrossFit perspective versus the calisthenics perspective, just to kind of see the differences and what kind of training goes into each one. And we're gonna have lots of fun. We're gonna also do some movements where I teach Noah something and he's gonna teach me something. Again, both in our own CrossFit versus calisthenics. Pump, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> The first movement that we are going to talk about is the handstand walk. In CrossFit, most of the things we do are for time. So you're trying to do them as quickly and efficiently as possible. When we handstand walk, we're usually bent legs, legs yeah. are kind of spread apart because <laughs> you're almost letting your legs lead the way and you're trying to catch up with them. You guys do we it a little like bit more it. pretty. Yeah, we like to have our legs squeezed together. We take a little bit smaller steps. We have our hands just slightly turned out. I don't know what your guys' hands are. Uh, I would say it depends kind of person to person. Yeah, I like to have mine slightly pointed out. Again, feet together and we try to step, kind of like replacing our weight rather than you guys have your weight more forward. Yep. So we're definitely more stacked cool. as we go along. Let's do one side by side at the same time. To see the differences? Yeah, yeah. to show okay. them the difference and then you could get me into a nice pretty handstand and I'll help you try to go for speed. Okay, sounds cool. good. Go. Nicely done. And we always finish. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I were to clean mine up a little bit, I know for sure I would need to pin my legs together. Legs together. Point my toes. Yeah, yeah. And then think of your hips too, so because I know you guys more arch. Mm -hmm. Think of having your pelvis tucked, nice tight tummy. And then again, just making sure as you step, your weight is staying right over top of your shoulders. Okay. Rather than like booking it forward. Yep. Front. So in a normal handstand, we would look like this. Yep. My handstand walking, I'm just slightly a little bit more out okay. just so I can see where that hand's gonna cool. place. All right. Yeah. Let's see if I can pull that off. Let's see it. Yep. There you go. Tight, tight legs. You gotta squeeze those ankles. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, the hips, once I like, the hips. I can feel that. Yeah, that was like a nice reach. straight line and yeah. the legs together, nice. but a lot slower as you can see. Okay, so now you are just gonna, I'm gonna try to throw all them. that out the window. And they can go anywhere? <laughs> Open up, yeah, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. You, you wanna <laughs> keep it relatively in control, um, but by bending your legs and being able to arch a little bit, all you're doing is giving yourself a little extra momentum. And is it like a bend and a bend in the hip or just the leg? I think it's it's whatever you're comfortable with. Actually, Danielle Brandon, one of the best handstand walkers in our sport, she's super stacked all the way through her hips and just at her knees, she's completely bent. A lot of other people's, a lot of other people open up all the way. Um, I would say okay. whatever you feel like is gonna be the most comfortable, but give you a little bit of that push forward. Okay, so we're just gonna try to go as fast as possible. Forward. Yeah, let's see some speed. Okay. There you go. I felt faster. Yeah? Was it faster? Good. Definitely. <laughs> I think so. Nice. Nice. All right. Awesome. Poller at his T. All right, so next movement we're gonna do is a pull-up. So calisthenic style, we always have our thumbs hooked and it has to be like ears above the bar. So coming mm. all the way up. Okay. And there's a couple different ways you can compete in calisthenics. It can be like pure volume, but in which case you have to come up fully extend and you can only go for your next rep if you get tapped to go. Huh. So even though it's trying to go for volume, you have to wait for that like That's good rep. And your feet and ankles have to stay glued together and you can't have them bend too far forward or back. Cool, you have I to didn't know that. that. Straight line. Okay. Yeah, That's so cool. we're gonna go over that first. And Sweet. Then I'll show you that. So jumping up, we're gonna make sure those thumbs are hooked. We're gonna come all the way up, ears above the bar, full lockout. Tap. Yep, tap, all the way up. And then back down. So they give you the tap pretty quick. You're not hanging out there too long. Yeah, they the try to make it yeah. quick. But as okay. you get a little bit sketchy with your refs, they'll, they'll make you wait for it. Gotcha. So All let's right. see it. Give it a whirl. Some thumbs hooked. Thumbs wrapped. That's kind of yep. different for me. I'm used to uh, going yes, thumbs right. around. Yep. So thumbs, yep. feet, going all the way up. All the way. Yep. And then tap. Nice. And then careful of your feet not coming too far forward. Oh, okay. Just stay. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Cool. So that's that, like calisthenics, like book form. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Glad to hear that. It definitely feels more difficult in the sense that you wouldn't be able to do as many. Yeah. As the, the way that we do it. Makes such a big difference for me because as a gymnast, yeah. I always went like this, and they're like, "That doesn't count." Yeah. So it has to be thumb huh. wrapped. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, in CrossFit, 
<laughs> we uh, definitely get a lot of skepticism about the way that we do pull-ups. Um, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. It's fine. I respect it. It's all good. <laughs> We usually do either a kipping pull-up or a butterfly pull-up, and the reason that we add in a little bit of that momentum is for efficiency. We're trying to do as many reps as we can in the shortest amount of time yeah. using the least amount of energy. And both of the styles have standards to them, just like the calisthenics pull-up. So you okay. have to get your chin above the horizontal plane of the bar. So you don't have to... Okay. Basically, what that means is if there was a line coming off the bar, I have to get above the line, but I don't have to go over the bar. Like, your chin doesn't have to go this way. just has gotcha. to get above the height of the bar. So here. Yep, exactly. Okay. And at the bottom, your arms have to lock out. Yeah. So pretty much the same standards. Lock out at the bottom, chin above the bar at the top. The kipping pull-up is a little slower. It's kind of the back and forth mm -hmm. where you're doing that basic opening and closing at the bottom and just using a little bit of momentum to get yourself up at the top. It's definitely okay. faster than a strict pull-up, but the fastest way to do them is the butterfly, which uses momentum just in a different way. You're kind of elevating your body, making yourself weightless, falling into the bar, and as soon as your arms lock out, you're kicking your legs again to create that weightless. I'm on coordination on that one. Yeah, I struggle with that one. <laughs> They, they're quicker, for sure. You can do a higher volume of them in a shorter amount of time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I can definitely see that's way faster. And again, your thumbs are... Yeah, that's just the way that I prefer to do them. In CrossFit, we also use grips, which is helpful. Oh. It just kind of saves you uh, from ripping, and you're able to hold onto the bar a little bit longer. Yeah, so in calisthenics, no nothing on our hands ever, okay. just chalk. Or cool. some people use honey. Um, honey. Yeah, if it's like a the steel bar, Delicious. the wood bar, it's, yeah. it's honey. Stick to it. Yeah, they just... <laughs> wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. I'm learning so much. Yeah. Sweet. Well... Right, so let me try these out. I was going to say, yeah, let's see you do a regular kipping, and we'll see if we can teach you butterfly for the first time. I think you have the coordination to figure ah, it out. Ah, we'll try. Okay, so kipping one first. Yeah, so, so I'm... do some of the kips first. Like Just this? the back and forth, exactly. And then when you feel that weightlessness at the back, then you pull up. Yep. Perfect. Is that okay? Yeah, that looks great. And then you just basically, to keep your rhythm, once you've gotten your chin above the bar, in order to get yourself back down, you wanna push away a little bit. So you're in that same opening and closing motion the whole time. So cool. You said, once I'm here, I'm gonna push away? Yeah, a little bit. So you get your chin up above the bar and then push so that you can come back through at the bottom. Ah. Yep, that's it. Fast learner. Oh, those are weight, okay. I nice. The, the push away is a huge. Yeah, that helps. A huge one. On the butterfly, I know you said you've tried them before and you weren't able to figure it out. I, I definitely They're think not you pretty. can. <laughs> a couple different ways that you can learn those. The way I remember learning it is imagine that there's a puddle of water and you're splashing the water and then pulling back, splash, pull back, splash, pull back. Splash, pull back, splash. Pull back. And so once you have that down on the floor, you can hop up on the bar and then without even using your arms, just practice that motion. It feels really weird. But after you've done that a couple times, you can start to add in your arms and you would see how... It can turn into a... Yeah, how it creates a little bit of that same weightlessness. All right, we might look very uncoordinated. Here we go. Okay, so it's reverse bicycle. Yep, so splash, pull back. Yep, just do that like three more times. Beautiful. And now try adding in a little pull while you kick. <laughs> yeah? I kind of feel like a oh, fish out of water. Yeah, yeah. It definitely feels funny at the beginning. Um, that's the furthest, I've, that's the closest I've ever gotten to anything remotely looking like a butterfly pull-up though, not you, gonna lie. You did, you did good. You did both of them by themselves. You, you did the legs by themselves and then you added in the, the legs and arms. Let's try now, just jumping up and doing some mini butterfly pull-ups. So kick your legs and at the same time that your toes go forward, let your arms kind of come back and pull. So let me do me, like this. Try, come down real quick, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, it's like, this one's, not that at no, all. <laughs> no, 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 not bad, not bad. This one's definitely tough to teach and to learn. I'm sorry, you're gonna jump into a hollow, hollow. arch, and then go into it. So as I into would arch is when I pull to the bar. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to compute this right now. Jump up, hollow, arch, and then little mini swings. Really? <laughs> We're maybe. gonna come back to this one. Yeah, maybe. So this is a, this is a, Calisthenic, 
not familiar position. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, I'm going to work on it, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll try it again. I have faith in you. I'm going to tag you on my very first story I get. I'm going to be like, look, Noah. Perfect. I got it. Got it I down. Got it. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to teach you a calisthenics handstand push-up. So I know in CrossFit, you guys usually do them against the wall. Do you ever do them freestanding? We've had one or two events that have had us do freestanding handstand push-ups, but very rarely. Is it to the, to the top of your head, though, Usually, right? yes. Yeah, so, you can rest at the bottom if you need to. Yeah, and it's the tuck. Yep. And up. Okay, yep. so we're going to do full strict. Okay. So we're going to go nose to floor. Ooh, that sounds nose to floor. a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like it. <laughs> Smash my nose. So the, big, the first progression is just a nice pike push-up just to kind of get you there. Okay. So we're going to go slightly wider than we would for our handstand. We're going to head down. In. Sorry. Redo. Max, watch out, Bubba. <laughs> So our hands will be slightly wider than a regular handstand. So typically handstands I'm here, handstand push-ups I just like to be a little bit of a step out. Okay. Up onto our toes, we're going to head down, nose the floor, and then back up. Hopefully and then our that elbows. surf doesn't smell too bad. No, it's, it's actually fine. Hasn't been clean in a while. <laughs> you're going to go down like this with your elbows to so make sure that you're not putting too much pressure, like if you look at me this way, yeah. out this way. You don't want to do that. At a 45. Okay. Like you would for just like a regular push-up. I think push that's how I typically do them too, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Alright, let's try, try that, that first. Back. I gotta ditch my shoes. Oh yes, calisthenics, no shoes. I, uh, you live in a sock world. Okay, I like that. So hands a little bit wider than yep. usual. Getting up on my toesies. Nice Closer? Yeah. You want your bum as high as possible. Hi bums. You get down. Nose. Full extension. So when you extend, make sure you lock out the arms too. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go down. Got it. Um, okay. So now that we have the pike push up, the next progression would be doing like a negative. Okay. So we're gonna kick up into our handstand, again, a little bit wider than normal. We're gonna head down, and then we're gonna step down, push straight up. Okay. I shall try. Here. Yeah, up. You gotta find that handstand position first. Yep, squeeze the bottom. And then lower down. Yep. And kip up. <laughs> like that, right? Just like that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you want lots of weight into your fingertips. I don't know if they teach you this in CrossFit, but I always teach my clients, if you have your hands like this and you push down on your mm. fingertips, that's the kind of weight you want in your hands. Okay, cool. Like grip the ground. Yeah, and push into it. Got it. Down. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So the biggest thing with the handstand push because I believe you guys do yours more straight up and down. Yeah. How aesthetics become 45 oh, back up straight. With your body. With like, our body. So we have to keep tension all the way through our core and our glutes. Interesting. Otherwise, we just fall straight down. Yeah. Huh. So if you watch my handstand push up from here, I'm going to come down on that 45. Oops. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't keep my core tight. Right. That's. <laughs> so here, coming down, and then straight back up. Wow. Very nice. Squeeze. Yeah. And up. Up. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's I'm a calisthenics -er. That was beautiful. What do, what do we call ourselves now? Cali actually. A Cali athlete. A Cali, like that. <laughs> Cali crossfitter. Cool. Love it. Okay, That's sweet. Awesome. Yeah, that was that was fun. We've done handstand walking. Handstand walking. Pull-ups. You taught me how to do a calisthenics handstand. Now I need to teach you something CrossFit. The final piece of the puzzle, I'm gonna teach Tay to do some ring muscle-ups. Super complex movement. We do them pretty often in CrossFit. That's like the higher skill level stuff. I like to think of a muscle up as kind of two aggressive motions. It's that same kip that we talked about on the bar at the bottom, like big open and close arch hollow. Yeah. And then essentially when you are pushing back in that hollow, you're creating that weightless body position. That's when you're gonna extend your hips okay. and then sit up over the rings, catch them by your sides, press out of the dip. In my mind, I like to think of two pops as kind of my cues. If you can get down the hip pop and then that head turnover, think about it like pop, pop. Those, okay. those two. Like right after each Yeah, pop, okay. pop, exactly. Like you taught me with the kip up yesterday. Yeah. Kip up and then and sit then the up. Head. Okay. It's very similar to a ring muscle up. Okay. Let's see where you're at right now. Okay. Have you try one, do one, and then we'll see if we can change it up to be a little more efficient. Yep. Kips and then turn over. Okay. What happened there because you didn't have the false grip when you went to turn over, your hands didn't have anywhere to go. You kind of got stuck in your hands, and that yeah, happens I feel to like people I get stuck here. all the time. I like to think when I turn over, almost opening up my like splaying my fingertips and catching the ring right in that crook of your thumb. Right in here. Yep. So here's one, just the hands. Just watching the hands. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So try that. That'll put you in that. That's a lot of trust in my position. little thumbs. I, I got faith in you. All right, I'll give you a little assistance here. Let's go one, two, and up. One, two, and on this one up. Oh, that was a nice pop up there. Yeah, but okay. I, I did not give you very much assistance at all. So if that's what helped you, now all you know that you need is a little more. more of that, yeah, hip cool. to the ring, big turnover. Two and up. Oh, oh. close. I'm gonna get it, I yeah. can get it. Yep, I think you can too. Yeah, feel how your hand rotates around the ring? Yeah. Kind of? Yep, literally, yeah, I do, it's I do just sliding. That's all it is, it's sliding your knuckles down to the ground. Yep. Go do that up All right. there. All right. Literally, I can do this. Same thing you just did. Just let those hands slide. Come Knuckles on. to the ground. Come on, Taylor. All right, come All right. on, T. Let's go, T. Come on. You got this. Big kick, hard turn over. Knuckles on, to the this. ground. Come on. You got it. Big up and over. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Go, T. Go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All you needed was some homies hyping you up. <laughs> yes. Oh. That was good. Really okay, good. great. Let's go. Thank you. That's exciting. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I learned something new today, and I'm going to get those butterfly pull-ups, I promise. You got your muscle up. Butterfly pull-ups, the only thing left. So stay tuned on my Instagram for that. I'll be tagging. I'll be tagging Noah for sure. I'm excited so to see, see it. it. I got faith in you. Yeah. And I got in some, uh, yep, some calisthenics, handstand push-ups, freestanding. Yeah. Thank you guys for giving us love and support from both sides. There's no reason we can't come together and support each other. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. See you guys next time.